so so this is xrp um back in 2017 where's my mouse gone there it is. so 2017 start of the bull market up it went came down up again right and this is what gets really exciting because we had this level of retracement that came right back down and then we saw astronomical growth that is alt season so this is the bull cycle bitcoin getting excited and then you have this huge and i mean huge in the space of no time 24th of december to the 4th of january so 24th of december to the 4th of january it went from one dollar to three dollars so this is xrp and then start of the burst the, the burst cycle so all of this was a lead up to the bull market and then boom off it went three dollars it touched so we are still extremely early some people reckon that we're here if i have a look at bitcoin um, bitcoin bitcoin all 2017 so in terms of where where they think we are at the moment they think we're here so we've had the start of the bull market we've had this rise up and then we've had this retracement down and that's where a lot of the experts are thinking that where we are with bitcoin so technically we've still got all of this to go yet which is why people are thinking that we're going to see a half a million bitcoin because they reckon in terms it is following the 2017 bull market quite scarily similar so this crazy retracement that we've had is where we're sitting and we've still got all of this to go yet technically so yes when it gets to around here i i have a figure in mind so for example holo chain end of year 20 cent if it then starts dropping to maybe 17 16 cent then i may look at selling my coins if the if people have confirmed that the, this is the bear market i'm not going to hang around i'm going to sell my coins and then i'm going to wait for the bear market to finish and then start stacking up ready for the next bull cycle that is what i'm going to do i will take some profits out obviously um so i'll be able to take my 18 cents out and then well if you get yeah so 18 cents i can take one holo chain out and then the other nine holo chains i'll put back in and then over the next couple of years i can then fill my bags up and have you know a, ser a serious baggage serious baggage for the next bull cycle that is the plan so um yeah interesting times but yeah juan juan does have a really really good point because we've still got beta we've still got the actual launch of holo chain we've got all the holo ports for them to be sending out and earning the holo fuel so what juan is saying is 100 percent correct there is just more to holo chain than the bull market they have so much more going on all right this could be bitcoin again yeah unfortunately this is what's really frustrating at the minute with bitcoin that we're seeing this we're seeing these huge sell-offs after a huge pump it's like why 
Why does people want to make two or three percent gains when they can make 20, 30 percent with Bitcoin? It's so frustrating. Um, but this is just we're seeing this a lot at the minute with Bitcoin. It's so frustrating. El Toro, how big can the loss be though in percentages if you keep on holding? All right. Are you ready for this? Depends where you, where you came in, okay? So that's where you have to think about where you bought in. So it is proportionate. Let's just say, let's use Right, let's use, for example, you bought in at a nice number, 0 0.001, and it went to 20 cent. Obviously, this is speculative. So if you bought in there, there is 18,500% of profit. And then if you carried on holding through the bear market and it came back down, to let's say 0 0.005 you would have lost a hundred percent of your profits so you're down how do we work this out how do i work this out backwards you'd lot so if 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 we went right this is where we need to get the math right isn't it if you came in at, let's just work it on, on a cent. So if you came in at a cent and it went to two cent, you've got a hundred percent profit, right? And then the bear market started and then it went back to a cent. You've lost a hundred percent of your profits. But the, the earlier you come in, the more of a profit you're making. So you would have a lot more coins based on what that person has, has bought in at a cent and it goes to two cent. So yeah, it's it's all proportionate on the money you put in. It's hard to explain it. I can't explain it in simple terms. If somebody has bought, for example, a million holo chain tokens here, it would cost them next to nothing, as opposed to the the man or woman that's bought a million holo tokens at there. It's cost them a lot more to buy that number of coins as opposed to down at the bottom of the chart. So your profit margin is massive, dependent on where you came in. So the, the man or woman that bought in at two cent, as opposed to the man or woman that bought in at 0 0.001, your percentage profit is, is so much more for the person that bought down here than the person that bought there. But you will lose, you will lose around about If you hold on in a bear market, you're gonna lo lose at least 60, 70% of your money, if not more. So you don't hold. And that's what creates that tumbling effect. That's why it drops so hard. Because everybody gets wind that this could be the bear market. So everybody jumps out. And that's why you see, that's why you see this huge drop so you see that was the start of the bear market and then it leveled out because people are thinking is it actually gonna is it actually gonna happen and then they're like okay i'm not staying in anymore i'm i'm frightened so that's when you get this huge drop and it happened so quickly this was in the space of seven days and then people decided that you know maybe it could be a fake out because it happened so quickly so people started buying in and then no and then you just you just got this tumbling effect start of the bear market
Chris Russell, this is the first crypto rave I've been to. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, it's quite cool music actually. Um, yeah. El Toro, we don't know when the bear market's gonna hit. We don't have a clue. A lot of the experts are saying in terms of Bitcoin, so this is the Bitcoin chart that we're here. We're in this dip at the moment. So this hasn't even started yet. The party hasn't even started. This is why they're saying we could see a, a, a 460,000 Bitcoin. Based, they're only basing it on previous information. Could a bear market start tomorrow? Yes. Are the chances of it starting tomorrow? No. Not a chance. Based on Bitcoin on the daily and the 200 EMA. So remember that the, the market is all based on human psychology. So when the chart, the candles come down and touch that 200 EMA on the daily. No, let's turn that off. So on your, on your exponential moving averages, you have this EMA, which I've changed down to the 200. So on Bitcoin, if it gets to the, if it touches the 200, and passes it, that is a signal for the start of the bear market based on previous information. Could it come down, fake out and bounce up? Yes, it could do that. So, but we don't know when it's gonna happen. That's why it's so important that you look at the charts on a daily basis. Find out what's going on, look at the daily news, get on YouTube, watch videos on Bitcoin, Watch videos on your altcoins. There's loads of video. There's loads of information out there for you to have a look at. But we're nowhere near the end of this bull cycle at all. We've still got a long way to go yet, in my opinion. So end of year, I'm seeing a 20 cent holo, holo coin. That's just basically my own research. Do your own research and make your own decisions on what's gonna, what it's going to be. But when it comes to it, I, I, of course I'm going to jump out on a bear market. Why wouldn't you? At the end of the day, we love Holochain. We love the project. We want to support the project by investing in it. But I don't want to lose money off the back of it by hodling in a bear market. Right, 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 okay, so, XRP. If you want an understanding of a bear market, we'll have a look at it. Because I know that a lot of you are quite scared about bull, about bear markets. So, in 2016, So 2016, 2017, XRP was at 0 0.006 cent. It then had a rise up as its project grew and it sat around the 21, 25 cent mark. Then the bull market started. It then reached on the 8th of January Three dollars and thirty-eight seventh of January. So it went from twenty-four cent up to three dollars thirty-eight. Then the bear market hit, and then it went down to back down to thirty. So you're looking at ninety percent, ninety percent. So yeah, you're looking at ninety percent. Um, harness Mavs, 
do you still think bears will happen even with the huge institutions buying in? Absolutely. If you look, right, imagine you as Elon Musk and you put 1.5 billion into Bitcoin and then at the end of the bull market, you had 5 billion. Would you, yes or no, take out that 5 billion and have three and a half billion pound profit? Just ask yourself that question if you was in his shoes. So for us, looking at Holochain, if you had, I don't know, let's say for argument's sake, you had 100,000 Holochain coins and it went to a dollar and then the bear market hit, would you or would you not take out $100,000? <laughs> it's, it's a very, very simple and logical question. Of course you would. Jesus, are you going to let us know on the bear market to jump out? No, because I don't know when it's going to happen. Nobody knows when it's going to happen. So, so we don't know. Are we going to start seeing patterns emerging? Yes, because what we see is we see this huge rise. All right, so there's an indication that this is the hype, the hysteria that's happening, the craziness. And if you imagine a ball that gets thrown up into the air, what happens to it? It has kinetic energy. So that kinetic energy has to come back down and it works exactly the same in, in the stock market. So you get this. Let's turn it off so I can explain this. Let's come onto this screen. Nice blank screen for me. So you get like this, this rise up. This is the start of your bull market. You get retracements, because people are taking profits. And then you get a steady rise. And then people get excited, it's called FOMO. Fear of missing out. It's gone to a point where they're like, this isn't stopping. This is just going up and up and up. And then you get this huge level, maybe a little retracement just to scare you. And then up again. And then what happens is you get this double M pattern people, right? You all know about the M patterns and the W patterns. An M pattern forms and then it fails. And then it'll hit that resistance and then it'll come back down. It'll try and get up again and it can't. And that is basically what you see. If you have a look at 2017, you will see most of the charts look like that. So we start again, bulls climb up the stairs you get a retracement because it's overextended, a steady rise back up, FOMO kicks in. Scare gap, FOMO then kicks back in, M pattern. Down, resistance, down. All right, and then what do you see here? You see a head and shoulder. That's why head and shoulders are frightening. <laughs> That's a perfect head and shoulder pattern. So if I then have a look at XRP. There we go. Can you see it? Shoulder, head, shoulder. So the experts will already see that shoulder emerging and they're like, okay, we'll have to watch that. And then that what they think is a head. People, people buy back in because they think it's cheap. So you get this M pattern forming and it's huge. So then you get this second one. So you've already missed the first one. You've got this M pattern emerging. Boom, straight back up. That is when you jump out because all it's going to happen then is it's just going to go down and then you get the right shoulder and finish with. So that's why it's really important. You cannot, you cannot rely on me to tell you when a bear market is happening. All I can do is have a look at the charts. I can do my own research. If that 200 starts crossing, the, the, the candles start crossing on that 200 on the daily with Bitcoin, you've seriously got to start thinking to yourself, what do I need to do here? <laughs> 